Now, we now have the report when it comes to the shooting of Brianna Taylor. Uh, it appears that the Louisville Metro police officers have released this report, but there is just one problem. It's almost entirely blank. What, what do you mean it's blank? Well, according to the Courier Journal, the four page report only lists the time, date, case number, location, victim's name, and age, uh, and that's it, basically. Aside from a couple of other things, there's basically nothing on this report. So let me get into the details here. So now the report redacts Taylor's street number, apartment number, and date of birth. So, so that's redacted. But what the thing about that is that we already know all that information. It, it's, it's, it's already been released to the public. It's already been widely reported. Why redact those things? Odd, but it gets worse. Now, as for the injuries reported to Brianna Taylor, right, the officers listed it as none. Oh, really? So what? Would she just die mysteriously? Is that what happened? I mean, uh, you know, she was shot eight times, but no injuries, and she just happened to die of something completely unrelated to being shot eight times. No, no. Look, according to family members, she bled out after she was shot in her sleep, by the way, in her hallway floor. That is that is horrible. That is awful. Now, the report also lists the charges as, quote, death investigation, LMPD involved. No kidding. Uh, but checks the no box under forced entry. Now, look, um. I'm pretty sure the sleeping Brianna Taylor and her boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, were, all, were both asleep at that time. Uh, and so they didn't exactly let the officers in. And considering how this was a no-knock raid and the officers, yes, they claim that they, oh, no, we announced ourselves, uh, but actually didn't announce themselves. That's kind of uh, impossible for them to get in without forcing their way in. In fact, it's reported that these officers used a battering ram to get through the door. Wow. All right, more. Uh, it also lists under the offenders portion of the report three officers that fired uh, that fired in uh, Taylor's apartment, fatally killing her. Uh, Sergeant John Mattingly, Miles Cosgrove, and Brett Hankinson. And then that's basically it. Those are the those are uh, three of the officers that, like again, remember they fired twenty times in the apartment, twenty times, twenty times, and then of course the last part of the information in the report, uh, and this is this is the narrative. This is supposed to set up what actually supposedly happened, right? For the officers to kind of tell the story, of the scene to set it up, uh, so that we know exactly how things happened, uh, and there were just two words. PIU investigation. The rest of the report, blank. Nothing there. Very unusual. So we have no information, no new information according to the police about what happened at all. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So now the Courier Journal, uh, they've been aggressive and asking the police, what is going on? Why did you just release this ridiculous report that has basically no information on this? And, and of course, they are uh, actually suing the uh, police department as well, Louisie, the Louisville uh, Metro Police. Now, Richard Green, editor of the Courier Journal, had some uh, words here. He said, I read this report and have to ask the mayor, the police chief, and the city's lawyers, are you kidding? This is what you consider being transparent to taxpayers and the public? At a time when so many are rightfully demanding to know more details about the tragic March evening, I fail to understand this lack of transparency. The public deserves more. Look, not only do does the public deserve more, but Brianna Taylor's family deserves more. I mean, this is this is a woman who is now dead. Okay? She she's gone. She did nothing wrong. This was a no-knock raid in plain clothes going after a person that they already had in custody. 
Over what? Over what? Possible drugs. Which, by the way, they found no drugs in that apartment. What so ever. So now the police report come uh, the uh, police department comes out and says, "Oh no no th this report it was full of errors." Oh really? Quote: Inaccuracies in the report are unacceptable to us, and we're taking immediate action to correct the step uh, correct the report and to ensure the accuracy of incident reports going forward. You know what happened? CYA. Cover your ass. This was cover your ass, one hundred percent. You think if there wasn't such outrage that they wouldn't have gotten away with this? I don't I don't think uh, I don't think they would have cared unless there was national, you know, outrage and, and, and people out there that are marching that are saying her name. This is what happens to African-Americans. This is what happens to black people in this country is that generally people don't care about them. When they die. And that's the sad truth when police kill them. Very, very sad truth. What happened here was, I mean, to me, murder. I, I mean, 100% un, unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. So, no, I don't buy it. I don't buy it at all. Cover your ass. No justification here to have this happen. But this doesn't mean that they won't go and try to look for something, anything to justify this. And we've seen this before. Maybe police are taking their time to dig into her past, to look for anything they can to smear her. I mean, they do it all the time. They do it all the time. And so I wouldn't be surprised if this is maybe an effort to delay, delay, delay until we can find something. Oh, yeah, we fixed the report. Turns out this woman, big criminal. You wouldn't believe it. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't believe it because it seems like it's fake. This is what happens, man, in this country. It's completely disastrous. Uh, and people need to be held accountable. And so far, I believe what? Um, none of the officers have been charged yet. I, I might not. Uh, I might be wrong on that. But unless they're brought to justice, there will be no justice. And there certainly will be no peace. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.